Hi, I'm Nick and today we're going to be looking at using the auto mix feature on the wing. So auto mix would mainly be used in a conferencing situation where you have multiple speakers and a lot of background noise. What the auto mix will do will prioritise specific speakers and then attenuate the volume of unused microphones at that time. There are two auto mix groups on the wing, X and Y. Both of these groups can have 16 channels assigned to them at one time. Channels cannot be assigned to both groups, only to one. To assign a channel to an auto mix group, we need to use the second insert slot on the channel strip. This does mean that you can't apply any effects to this secondary slot. Along the top of the display, you will see the option for an effects, auto mix X or auto mix Y. Simply select the group that you would like to join and then press the on button. If you have multiple channels assigned to this group, they will all be displayed in this menu. Each channel in this menu will have its own fader. This is how you set the priority of a channel. This is also known as the weighting of the channel. If a channel has a higher weighting, this will prioritize it over the other channels. Ideally, you would give your host on the panel a higher weighting than the guest speakers. Above the faders, you will notice two meters. The one on the left shows the level of your channel and the one on the right shows the amount of attenuation. If the meter on the right is completely yellow, this means that your signal is being completely reduced. And that's it. The auto mix is now set up and ready to use. Simply adjust the weighting to suit your needs. On the next video, we will be covering snapshots. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel so you are alerted when new content is available. Thanks again.